I love how we're, it seems like we're losing crowd. I feel like Katrina Coleman doing a headlining set. Oh, hey, why? Come on, come on. Hey. At least she gets booked for him. I can't complain. Don't cry because it's over. Be smile because it happened. <laughs> Moving on, all right. So Let's I think about it. Oh, even how is that worse? My mom likes that show. <laughs> I like things that are like too like watch this. Yeah, I don't fucking care. Okay. Alright, one, two, three, four, one. Do 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 do
Thanks, everybody. Josh, I uh, need a favor from you. Wait a minute, can I take straight? Yep. Hold on. Sorry, bro. No, no. Hey, Dale. What? Dale. No, I just need my guitar. It's right over there. I got it. Sorry, guys. Brendan broke a string, and that means you have to deal with stand-up. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever had a cigarette while you have a patch on? It is the best. It is the motherfucking best. So, I was raised Catholic, which means I don't fucking trust anybody. And you know, I've spent my whole life being by myself and just trusting myself because I can get away with that. I know I'm going to let me down, so it's easy to trust in me, right? So I was training my whole life just to be alone. And then, I meet this six foot five Mexican bitch who's got a really good job. My first thought that goes through my head is, holy fuck, she's fine. My second thought was, well, now I can't kill myself. Great. I guess this is what love is. Fast forward a couple years, and we haven't gotten divorced, which is longer than any marriage my father has ever had. I wish that was saying something, but it's really not. It's not much. And uh, so I, I realized I come to the fact I can trust one person. I can be comfy with that. Fast forward a couple years, and I meet my second husband. My second wife, whatever you want to call Brennan to me, I'm definitely the wife in this situation if you want to go by heteronormatives. And I find myself trusting somebody else. Fuck! That was not part of the plan. Next thing you know, we have a record deal together, right? Thank you. Not fishing, but I like what I caught. Right? Now we have a record deal. Now! I have split my entire life between two fucking other people. Look at him! We didn't even bring another guitar to play at our CD release party. He has to change the string. That's who I've been trusting my future to, and I'm fine with that. Nobody's human. My dad never missed a fucking day of school and never missed picking me up or dropping me off, but he used to beat the shit out of me and did a lot of blow. Everybody's human, right? Ooh, it got too real for some of you assholes, didn't it? Half of you are like, Brennan, please fix the fucking string. On it. <laughs> Don't touch me. Do not fucking... Did you ask my permission? I love Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you, but goddamn, I have a gut. I don't want anybody fucking... And that's gross. You basically touched the less smellier butt ball sack right now. No, no. But so now I'm in a position where I trust two people with my entire life and my entire future. It's not something I ever expected to do. Now my question to you is, I spend half of my time with this asshole now on the road. I'm with him every other night in a fucking hotel somewhere. I sleep next to him all the time. My question to you is, at what point does his fucking snoring become assault? Cause I don't know if you've ever fisted a raw chicken and then slapped it up against a tree that was connected to a big piece of metal that makes it sound like thunder in the old radio days. That's what sleeping next to this motherfucker is like. And then there's the other side of it. It used to be, I could just push him on the arm and he'd wake up, stop snoring. Not now, sister. Not now. Now I do this and move him over. Nothing. Nothing. So at what point is me punching him in the mouth while he's asleep? Assault. Because I haven't slept. I figured out what to do though. I figured out what to do. I called his wife. I called Jess. I go, Jess, what the fuck do I do about this guy snoring? And she goes, I don't give a fuck. You got to deal with it now. I gotta give Jess credit. I gotta give Jess credit. So I figure if I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna at least have a good time. And since we're brothers, now, when he starts snoring really, really bad, I take pictures of my nuts on the side of his face. <laughs> Not inside, I trim my balls methodically. Thank you very much. I have a tiny penis, so I have no crotch hair. No girl ever wants to go down on a thumbnail in a bird's nest, guys. Let's, let's get that out right now. 
But then I had all these pictures of my nuts on Brennan's face and nobody to share them with. So I tried for a shot in the dark. Me and Brennan's wife didn't always get along. We never disliked each other, but we were like that guy's friend to each other. So I figured out a way for us to bond. Every time I take a picture of my balls on his face, I immediately send it to Jess. Now, when I go over to Brennan's house for practice, we don't even hang out anymore. It's just me and the Jess in the corner talking about his dumbass face with my balls on it. All I'm saying, guys, is that love works in very mysterious ways. Next. Well. It's always sunny music starts playing and it's the, the caption Josh Me Too's himself. Uh song title for a later date, write that one down. Oh, that's a fucking good oh, it's a great song title. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, couple skate only. Couple skate only. Hey, you in the bar, shut the fuck up or shut the doors! I'm talking to you, Ross! Ross the boss, shut the fuck up or shut the doors. Get in here. Oh, that felt really good. Sorry, Brennan. <laughs> Song's called Compost. Sorry.
you were terrible parents by not being with your kids tonight. And we appreciate that because you're our bread and butter. If it weren't for shitty parents, people like us, Mr. Shabali and JT Haversat would not have a career. I dropped my tequila. You dropped your seltzer or whatever. Okay, who wants to hear a couple really good covers? Well, you're getting one. Let's get rid of this. Is what I was gonna say. You're getting two covers. This one, I am shouting out to Jess and Kara. My wife walked down the aisle to this song. Put it up. And now, break stuff. Oh, sorry. Everybody, put it up. Yeah. That would have been pretty fucking sick if we had just broke in. I literally was about to say an anal, an anal cut song, and then I was like, I shouldn't yeah. do that. Yeah. Diarrhea, chop, chop, chop. You remember they used to cover that? I said, we're retarded, I swear to God. Yeah. Shouts out to our best friend, Neil Young. We know him personally. <laughs> Hashtag Supreme. Yeah.
Thank you. All right. All right. Now, we, uh, we need to bring Buddy Forbes back up here one more time. Put your hands together for Buddy Forbes. The hardest working man here. Getting back and forth on the stage. Benny, y'all can hear it. I was busting Josh's balls for not being in here, but if y'all are in this bar, y'all are going to miss some fucking wild yeah, shit. Yeah, you idiots need to get the fuck in here if you're in the bar. <laughs> This song specifically goes out to uh, those of you who appreciate the finer things in life. Who appreciate not being afraid to wear your jinkos when you want to. Sorry, baby. Don't give it away. Good Lord. We've been keeping this a secret for fucking four months. Family, 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 family. <laughs> All right. Oh.